Hi, I'm Morgan. And I'm Jake. And this is Neverland, Neverland Navigation, Navigation Radio. Radio. Where we're filled with cheer <laughs> because it's the Armchair Imagineering Christmas Special. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we had to have a Christmas special. Yeah, you know, Morgan is um, Christmas's number one advocate. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I feel like we should make you one of those sash things. Oh. Like Miss Christmas. Sweet. You know? Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, next year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got the idea. Um, An armchair, I always want to say armchair detective. Armchair That's imagineering true. is like my new favorite hobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's fun to watch your mind wander, especially because we have seen so many ideas come and go. Um, from being lucky enough to be at the parks for long spans of time now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It really gets your brain turning on what they could do next. Right, right. We're very opinionated. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. But that, you know, that comes with being passionate. Yes. Because this is our, like, number one. So, of course, we've got strong feelings. Of course, of course. Yeah, and we're going to share some of those strong feelings. Um, just, um, Just some cute little, like, ideas for what would you do for how would you make this Christmassy? How would you make that festive? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. And we're yeah. going to put on our Imagineering caps and our badges and our um, button-up shirts. I feel like there's a lot of button-up <laughs> shirts going on over there, perhaps. Um, and uh, talk about some ideas that we might have. Christmas. Yeah. yeah, Disney does Christmas great. It's my favorite place to be during my favorite season. Um, but, you know, they could do more. What are some of the things that Disney normally does around Christmas time to make Walt Disney World and Disneyland extra festive? They decorate Main Street. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go park by park. There's a tree, huge tree in every park. But decorating the decorating of Main Street and now the projections on the castle, that's a big thing. Probably really my number one uh, favorite place to be in Disney during Christmas? Is it yours? Main Street? Mm hmm It's tough for me between Main Street and Hollywood Studios same, in general. Same, same, same. Um, I love that retro Christmas vibe. I love the Echo Lake situation with uh, Gertie the dinosaur and the, the ornaments that are kind of floating. Yeah. That, that, that's the one where I'm like, oh, but maybe there. Snow on Main Street feels very special to me. Yes, yes. And I think it, it, back like... when they it back when they had the um the Elsa lights all over the castle, that might have had like a step up back then in um Christmas fanfare because I loved it. I did too. It was so like there was no question about it. You know what I mean? But now with the projections, sometimes they're on, sometimes they're not on when, when they're doing a christmas projection show it's great but when they're not it's like the regular castle so yeah. it takes off that big central lit up spot you know what i mean yes i don't i've got to say i um i really loved the dream lights i was sad to see them go for the me too me too at first i was like the projections are something different i love they like, can change it yeah there's there's definite pros and it's definitely um impressive to watch the projection sure. yeah. technology um, but what I love most about the Cinderella Dreamlight, Christmas Dreamlights, was that they had like a little show, a little ceremony for turning them on. That was very magical and cute. Um, I guess they were Elsa's see, Dreamlights. See, huh? I never even saw the the part where Elsa comes out and turns them on. Yeah, that but was really fun. It sounds great, but for me, it adding those lights to the castle made the castle like an ornament you know what i mean or like oh, yeah. or like the tree like that grand and, and you and can miraculous. get really beautiful pictures of yes. it and it's yeah. like all lit up form right oh yeah i i loved the dream life. i did too so a few other things in magic kingdom are jungle cruise turns to jingle cruise so ride overlays so yeah so far, well decorations ride. oh okay. yeah <laughs> i imagine you know it's just ride over uh -huh. but they at all the parks well during the overlay. party there's also space mountain and teacups get a little right. bit of an overlay but you gotta pay extra for those right um and 
yeah, there's not really many, there's not much decor outside of Main Street. And then if I'm going chronologically, then Epcot's got that candlelight processional. Right. And then the um, storytellers of the different countries, mm -hmm. um, some got light decorations. Festival. And then would you consider the um, the thing on the ball that's like Elsa's thing to be Christmassy? You know what I'm talking about? We went and saw it. Yeah. Um, no, I, right? I mean, it's not like, it's like the equivalent to the, um, I, I don't think it's that Christmassy, but I it's don't either seasonal. It, do you think, or were they doing it before Christmas even now that I think about it? I, the, the one, okay, can you remind me what it is? Cause well, I don't really like, remember. There's a song and they, they project or not project, but the lights make like a snowflake and. Yeah, I think that's just for this time of year. Because okay. Because that song is from the Frozen Christmas. Oh, is it? Special, I think. Okay. I can't even remember what song they used right off the top of my head. But they also are, are using the lights to make the ball look kind of like a candy cane type. Right. So that's nice. That's nice and Christmassy. I, yeah, I automatically nice. and it, I automatically lump Frozen in with Christmas because of Frozen being cold and snow and they stuff do like too. that. Okay, great. <laughs> I was like, you know I don't know I mean? if I'm just doing that and I shouldn't be doing that. No, they do too. They have a holiday special. And right. also, um, Elsa came out and lit the tree up. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Her magic it's a good for point. Years, it's a good you know? point. That was. Yeah. Oh, but they are. I did see that they, it is projections, but it looks like they're bringing back the little show in some form. What little show? The one where they turn on the lights and oh. it's frozen characters. Again. Oh, 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 oh but okay. It's not going to. It's, it must be different, right? Obviously, somehow, but I guess the show well, element. I just remember. But the I same saw it. basic it's, idea, I get it. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's something, but yeah, I and, definitely prefer the lights. But it is what it is. Yes. Yes. Um, and then in Epcot, there's also the Living with the Land overlay ride overlay. They took away the Guardians overlay this year. Right. In not that it was much of one. Not, no, it with. wasn't, but it was something. It was just but a I mean, it's hard for me to say anything because I know you guys heard me complain about it last year. So, like, it's hard for me to complain and then complain it's not there. Um, I didn't want the, it to go away. I wanted it to get better. <laughs> I know, yeah, and, I think and, that's fair. Yeah, instead it just went away. They, I mean, when they bring stuff up at D23 and they flash a new logo on the screen, it makes it seem like it might be something that we should look forward to. Mm -hmm. And the different song was cute, but I don't think it was strong enough yeah. to be the only if, thing that they changed if for you don't, the attraction. Right. That was the problem, too. So if you don't remember or haven't like been with us for this our whole journey, last year they added a holiday song to the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind roller coaster um ride and it was kind of a holiday mashup song but there weren't more than one you would just get that one song yeah and uh there was nothing else christmasy about it so we thought we were getting a christmas overlay when really it was just a christmas song but now we get nothing so i i guess i guess that's the response you get to people like me complaining about this overlay but that wasn't my intention what i wanted was more <laughs> not less but Whatever, if you're whatever. a first time listener, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> I swear we're gonna start the show any second. This now. is this is this is relevant. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, you said what are, what do they have? You know, so we're still talking about what they actually have, and then we'll talk about what we want. They do it, a lot. Right? It's what decorations, ride overlays, shows. Yeah, like an Epcot and then some restaurants, kind of like and then yeah, like Hollywood and Vine and Hollywood Studios. They like. It's basically and parties an overlay. <laughs> yes, the, the restaurant, restaurant overlay. Yeah, yeah, at Hollywood and Vine. You mean? Yeah, is that it? Is that the only one they do? Yeah, that's I all. think so. Yeah, they, and then hard ticket parties. Yeah, at like um, Woody's Roundup Barbecue, which is a new restaurant this past year. Like the the um, things that they're saying. So, like, while you're in there, there's like. Um, Andy's saying something or somebody's saying something and that has been changed to Christmassy. But cool, that's unusual. I don't, I don't there's no decor or anything. So overlay might be wow. a bit of a stretch. Yeah, I don't yeah. But yeah. that is cool that they do that. I haven't heard of them doing that for an attraction, like just changing the narration for easy though. The holiday season. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. 
Um, so those are some examples of things that Walt Disney World does during Christmas time to set the festive mood. Um, and so we're going to take inspiration from those things and apply concepts like that, ride overlays, um, and things of that nature. And we're going to see what we would do if we were given all of the power of the pen, the sword, the pocketbook, <laughs> yeah. everything. Um, so we'll start simple. The first item on our little <laughs> Christmas list here uh -huh. is if you could wish for a ride overlay to become Christmasified. Yeah. So you could Christmasify a ride. Right. Which one would you pick and what would you do? Yeah. What did you do? I did Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Oh, nice. I was just trying to think. Well, honestly, my first thought was Jungle Cruise. But they already do <laughs> then that. Then I realized that they already do that. Interesting. So that took that right out of the running. Can you tell I have only done Jungle Cruise, like, I think once in my entire life? The lines at Christmas, when it turns to Jungle Cruise, get just out, like, insane. And that's why I've done it once. Yes, right. And it's not a good line to begin with. So I'm like, oh, you, a 100-minute line? I guess not. Right. So then I started thinking, well, if I'm going to pitch a concept to Imagineering, they're going to want it done cheap, <laughs> which is sad, oh, sad. To, but currently true. Um, so I started thinking about what would be easy, which is like a fun parameter to set, I guess. And I thought of this ride because it's mostly projections. So I feel like with, um, I mean, not with minimal effort, but with not having to change any physical set pieces, only having to update soft media the, the screens and the soundtrack and stuff then um i feel like this one would could be pre pretty easily updated i didn't really this was the one i thought about the least in depth um because i feel like you can kind of already imagine what a christmasy overlay of this might be especially at the end when they're when you're at spoiler alert yeah <laughs> everything works out fine and when you're back in the park and they're singing that song i feel like imagining a light snowfall in the park on the projections and mickey strumming some holiday tune i feel like is very easy um and i feel like updating the rest of the ride maybe it's just they add christmas decorations into the like yeah projections just to make well, it look more Christmas. -y. sure and even like at the ballet scene they could be doing the nutcracker song instead of you're hired do you, <laughs> do you want to be on my team for this yes okay great <laughs> um yeah that yeah like that kind of stuff yeah I feel like that's what makes this one easy is that it's easily like tampered with without ruining the whole ride sure yeah they could even update they, that cartoon in the beginning if too. i understand correctly they wouldn't even have to shut it down to make these changes right i don't think so i don't think so either so that's cool surely they could do whatever testing and calibration of the projections that needed to be done like overnight yeah because they don't have to like it's not like haunted mansion holiday right which is probably the most robust ride overlay they do that over at disneyland they turn haunted mansion into an entire nightmare before christmas themed attraction um that kind of that level of you know physical set piece stuff i feel like that's what takes them so long to do that yeah i can't give out the i feel like the projections would be quick yeah hmm so do you want me to go into mine sure this was my this was the ride overlay was my least thing i was ex like i thought of something and i was excited about me too why weird. that's so weird, weird. maybe it's just because it was the first one we had to like warm up our brain maybe um so a couple of ideas that I had were, A, I think, I think doing something with It's a Small World makes a lot of sense. Of course. Um, Isn't there a small world? Aren't we the only It's a Small World that doesn't have some version of It's a Small World holiday? I, I think so. That is cuckoo bananas. I know. I know. I agree. We, so that's why I think this would be a, a good kind of easy one. You already know. You've done the Disneyland one, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yeah, I like it. Would you describe it? The oh, I don't. I don't think I could. It's been a while, so I don't oh, know if I could. I'm the, sorry. The the like the thing that was super memorable to me was the, all of the lights on the outside of the Disneyland version. That's what I think of too. Yes, and so in my when like I think of it, and I, that warm, happy spot is because of the lights mm. on the outside, and then they put like a um, Santa hat on the the clock tower guy. You know right. what I mean? 
Um, the clock face. Yes. On the inside, I want to say they were doing a different song, and that was kind of the extent of it. Right. Um, and that's all that I really kind of imagined for it in ours. Um, obviously, we wouldn't get the exterior beauty that Disneyland has. Um, yeah, but they've got that kind of like false facade. Yes. In the big line. They do. The Q room. You know what I'm talking they about? They do. It's weird. Yeah, it's just... It's not its own icon. You're, like, already in there when you see it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but they could... I'm saying they could at least do the lights different in that one room still. It just won't have as much impact as the Disney light. Right, one. right. Because like, it's also not outside at night. Right. So there's not the contrast of the lights to the darkness. It would just be different lights. Because they already have... Lights, yeah. Lights They're just there. white. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, another idea I had was uh, Star Tours incorporating the um the like holiday festival that they have you know what i mean in star wars yeah light day or something life day i think yeah <laughs> you're right i think okay um that would be interesting is that like equivalent to christmas do you know yes i don't really know but yes Neither. it is um cool. so i feel like because star tours is all video and they change it all the time based on what they want to promote anyway. Right. That you could, like, the last place you go or one of the middle places you go would be to the planet that Chewbacca's on where they celebrate Life Day. That's cute. And they've, I believe that they've got, there's some similarities between Christmas and, and their this celebration. So I just thought it would be fun. I would love that as, like, not even necessarily, like, it is, but not even like the word overlay. I would love if they didn't tell anyone. Yeah. And they just did it as a cute little touch, like this Woody's yeah. Roundup narration. Yes, change. exactly. Right. Like, they didn't they don't... make a press release about it. Right. You just anything. have to hear about it on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. that's the kind of stuff I love when Disney does stuff because you get to circumvent all of the hype. And then the millions of negative opinions. About, right. You know, yeah. you can just and it's just a nice surprise. Nice. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's rare these days. I love that kind of stuff. One of the ride overlay things that I thought of when I was thinking about this that I'm surprised about is that our train isn't really Christmas overlaid. Oh. Like every other amusement park that I've been to at Christmas time. Have you ever done the Bush Gardens one? I have recently. How did it go for you? I mean it wasn't great. I, I'm not here to, like, sing praises to Bush Gardens for sure. Although they, they do seem to do more in, in the way of They're Christmas to lights. They're praises all about Christmas lights. Yeah, trends. yeah, right. Uh, Do the Dollywood has a similar situation. Yeah, at Bush Gardens, the only time I did that... Um... The carol train, the sing along Christmas right. train. They didn't. They don't really give you the words yeah. or anything. They just kind of play Christmas music and on then there tell you to sing along. Yeah, and then tell you to sing along. Um, I'm if that's what it would be. I'm glad that, that you're not we doing don't it. Have anything. Yeah, I. But I feel like Disney would never let. It no, be like and that. like at, at Dollywood, it's not like that. I don't think. Yeah, if I'm Dolly's remembering. on the train. <laughs> They're just playing Christmas music, and then there's like Christmas lights on the train. Cute, you know, cute. Yeah, right? nice. That would be a nice. Oh yeah, I also could think do it... Christmas lights on the. That's I yes, feel like an yes, and and really, it would be cute if they did that on a few different things, kind of like that, like Kilimanjaro Safari. Uh, the parking lot tram. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just feel like that'd be an easy, cute thing to do when a lot of us are putting lights on our SUVs and stuff. Yeah. Like, I maybe they could do something where they have like on the roof. They've got some way to make like a little fake snow fall out on either side of the train. Oh yeah, so yeah. Like, oh wow, it's wow. Snowing. That would be that would cool. be extra. Yeah. Well, hey. I mean, we've good. got the budget. We've got the budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, should we move on to our next question? Oh, here? can we put a Santa hat on the Yeti? I made a note. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, we can. <gasps> okay. Approved. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, our next one is inspired by the Cars Land overlay over at um, over at the Disneyland Resort, um, where they take their um, Cars Land from the Pixar movie Cars, and they... Um, they add all these beautiful decorations and lights and stuff. And it's just completely redone. Yeah, it's completely reinvigorated. Like, right. The Christmas spirit. I don't even, I'm, I'm not a huge 
Cars fan. She's more of like an SUV. <laughs> it's just, I think the timing of, of when Cars came out, just, it wasn't like my childhood and it actually wasn't my, well, I guess it was my child's childhood, but mm. not what she was into. Um, I was never a big car guy in case you. <laughs> in case tell. I was wondering. Yeah. So I just, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But, but anyway, my point was, but I love that land at Christmas oh, because yeah. it's so over the top Christmassy. Okay. So what land are you going to do that to? Okay, I'm doing Liberty Square. <gasps> Your child picked the same one. When I really? Was talking about this in the car, how yeah. funny! How funny! What would you do? So I would have carolers, like in. That's the... what I said they should do. This oh, is crazy. really? Oh my gosh! I just had this conversation wow. with your child. Yeah, like carolers in the the old school dress, like yeah. you. You know what I mean? Period like, costume. oh my gosh, perfect. Perfect. And then I think that they should have a Muppets retelling of a Christmas Carol up where the Muppets used to do the one thing. I Did you just, just say it? Spit my drink out. You are like word for word. Oh my god, that's crazy. I can't wait for you to tell Bailey about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I, great minds. That's not yeah. what I put down, but obviously that's what I think is correct. It's right, so, right. Uh, great minds think alike. Um, yeah, old timey decor, and then I put that there's already holiday kind of fair at Liberty Tree for yeah. a restaurant, so then like just adding some Christmas decor to that would be pretty mm. easy. Um, and then I also think that at like carts or somewhere in Liberty Square, there should be roasted chestnuts where they're roasting mm. chestnuts so that smell is everywhere and you can buy them. And hot chocolate, they used to do that. At um, the Grand Floridian. Oh. They would roast chestnuts and you would smell it. Cool. Um, kind of a cool old timey, you know what I mean? Like, who does, nobody really does that good anymore. Idea. So, having that, I, I just feel to me, this seems like the perfect Christmas area. Uh, yeah, I'm down. That sounds Except great. for Haunted Mansion, which is like over there <laughs> in its corner. Yeah. Well, assuming <laughs> we've got the budget, I'm sure you're also green lighting as part of this. Haunted, haunted Mansion, Mansion holiday. holiday, of course I am. So that you don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, it's already. What's there to worry about? I mean, it doesn't blend <laughs> because it's Nightmare Before Christmas now, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. why it's up on its own hill in the corner. I mean, they could they could Christmas fi Haunted Mansion a little bit in like an old timey Christmassy way without doing like a like a yes goth, a gothic Victorian you know Christmas. like just you add a Christmas tree down back. By the like where this person's holding the not the not person is holding mm -hmm. that candelabra. That's or, dead. Because, yeah. yeah. The hat box ghost has a <laughs> has a Santa hat. Oh my god! <laughs> but Victorian <laughs> Christmas, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what what's yours? Um, for land, I picked. Okay, I picked Frontierland. And that was my favorite, by the way. That was my favorite thing to think about because I was like, this needs to happen. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. I feel like that old school Christmas vibe is like, it feels so theme parky already. Yeah. Like and, I can envision the experience. And it's so Christmassy. Like the, I feel like I, a lot of what we watch, uh, like when you're watching Christmas specials and stuff like that, you might go back and watch the like, the ice skaters from the Walt Disney cartoons from like the forties, uh -huh. um, that era, you know what I mean? Jingle bells feels kind of that era, the, the sled, the one horse open, you know what I mean? Yes. Anyway. Like old, old timey. Yeah. <laughs> old timey. Like the word I want to say. That's what I keep saying. I got it. Um, Frontierland, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about this quickly because I also, in case you picked Frontierland, I did a different one, and oh. I feel like I like that one better. So oh, okay. I'll do this one quick. Um, so for Frontierland, I feel like Western, like traditional Christmas decorations would be cool. Sure. Pecos Bills having live mariachi music okay. would be awesome. Um, or mariachi, like Christmas music. You know, All right. Like a mariachi band playing Christmas songs. Um, Country Bear Holiday. Oh, God, yes. Since that's already a thing. Uh -huh. um, maybe walk around, like, musicians playing, so like, Christmas songs on, like, a fiddle. Like a Western, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Western like, Christmas, sure. Um, and I feel like, at this point, Tiana doing, like, a winter dress, like, meet and greet would be yeah. cool, since she's going to have a big presence in the land. 
Um, also, have you seen that they've added a bunch of trees to the Tiana's Bayou Adventure? No. I recently saw a picture on the internet, and they like planted a bunch of trees all over it, so it's really like overgrown looking, which is interesting. So I think they should put real Christmas trees lights in the trees. Um, Probably I, not. Um, I d I don't know. Okay. I didn't like look at the picture for long enough. Um, but anyway, the one that I actually am, I guess, more excited about would be, I think they should decorate Tomorrowland for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would be, like, a retro-futuristic, metal, colorful Christmas tree. Yeah. I feel like oh, I can wow, see it. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. Um, okay, what else do I have on here? Holiday lighting, obviously. Um, new narration for, like, sure. the holiday season would be cute. You mean for, like, People Mover? Yeah, for yeah. People Mover. And cool. also just, like, ambient. To, isn't there an ambient Tomorrowland narration? Mm, no, maybe no. not. Maybe it's just the people mover. Yeah. So yeah, the people mover. But the people mover kind of serves as ambient narration yeah. for the entire land because exactly. it's everywhere. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, I love this. A Space Mountain Christmas light situation. Which is something they have for the party that it would be cool if they had all the time. Yeah, why not? Open why not? For everybody. Um, people mover tunnels could have like Christmas like projections or lights in them. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. That would be fun. Would you do anything to buzz? Santa hat. Go ahead. Move <laughs> on. <laughs> Put a Santa hat on it. Yeah, honestly, that's about it. Um, that's about uh, can I close the buzz lightning <laughs> Okay. Um the yeah, my overlay is putting back whatever it wasn't there before <laughs> dream flight <laughs> yeah 100 that'd be no, great i'm just kidding um sunny eclipse i feel like should get new christmas theme songs perhaps. yes yes that would be awesome because this is his background they're, they're called the space, space angels. angels they could be snow angels oh yeah and then the last thing I had on here would be, like, a space age little Christmas show on that weird stage they have <laughs> there. That's, I mentioned that stage when we get to the show's part. Oh, good. Because they used to do a Christmas show there. Really? Do you remember? You don't remember that? No, I don't. It might have been before. Well, that's what I want to. Oh, well, out. great. That's yeah. what they used to have a really, really fantastic Christmas show in the Tomorrowland Theater. And it was just super cute. I wonder if it's... I wonder if it's, I'm sure it's basically what I'm imagining for this. That, like, just cute, It's so simple. funny. It is, like, I'm not even saying make anything new. Just bring back that show. Why did you take it away? If I were to make one from scratch, I would want, like, I would want it to be retro and tomorrowland -y. Yeah. So I want, like, robot rockets. <laughs> oh, okay. That <laughs> wasn't, something. yeah, that would be very cool. Or, like, not, like obviously not big like a big production show because that stage is tiny but like a couple dancers mickey mouse it's and not whoever. that tiny they they did used to do a pretty good show there really yeah i need to see well footage. okay I if never you're got to see it if you're picturing You've seen a show i haven't seen this yeah <laughs> yeah that is crazy <laughs> I, yeah, and definitely. my family loved that show we did it like every year your family yeah yeah, yeah. they don't see shows but it's christmas Oh, that's the hack. That's the hack. You gotta get it. Gotta get it on that Christmas ground. Floor. Yeah, right. Okay, but anyway, my whole family it. loves Christmas. Like I love Christmas. Yeah, maybe not quite as much as me, but you're a jolly Christmassy family. Yeah, <laughs> which is a good quality in a family. I also feel like they, you know, how at Tower of Terror they do like Christmas lasers is the best way I can describe it. They okay. they like have projections on the Tower of Terror. There's snow falling down Sunset Boulevard, and they're also shooting lasers out into the snow. Yeah. I feel like that would really fit Tomorrowland because lasers are, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Are those supposed to just be random lasers in the the Tower of Terror area, or are they... They, like, make patterns in yeah. the snow. Yeah. Okay. I thought that they were part of the projection that was just getting, like, kind of caught on the snow. No, I think they're supposed to be shining onto the snow really? to make it look like... The snow is like glistening in waves and like it lights it up in like patterns. Interesting. Okay. I think. Uh, yeah, I believe you. Because I feel like those lights, like the projections of the, the projections onto the tower, the only reason I feel like they're different are because I feel like those lasers or I, they could not be lasers, I don't know, are like shining toward like at the snow. Yeah. I don't yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't have the ins and outs on that. Right. Sorry. But I feel like lasers and snow would be cute and Christmassy tomorrow.
Oh, yeah, I agree, I agree. Because mid-century Christmas is such a thing and, like, retro-futuristic. I feel like it all goes together. Yeah, I like your Tomorrowland idea better than the Frontierland one. Yeah, I felt like the Frontierland one was maybe a little bit more forced. I'm glad I came up with the Tomorrowland as a backup because I think it's definitely... The winner. The one that I think I could, like, so... Liberty Square, too. Yeah, those two, really. Yeah. yeah. And I want more, even if it's just one or two more, I want them to do more lands for Christmas. I do, too. I feel like they stopped decorating at Main Street. And it's I, weird. I want them to do a little bit more. It, it's, it wouldn't be weird if all the other amusement parks didn't go further all out for Christmas, which surprises yeah. me. You know what I mean? I recently saw that. We should stop bringing up Dolly World as, <laughs> as um, often, I guess. But um, they start putting up their Christmas decorations and like before September and stuff. And yeah, yeah. They like are getting ready for Christmas all the time because they put lights on like every building and stuff. Yeah, they go all out for sure. Right. But then they're closed for a bunch of months. Yeah, and they're that's not that's a smaller part. It right. is a smaller part. Right. So there's, there, I'm not saying it's But the there's same. more lights than there are at Disney. Right. It is, so it is kind of a comparison thing. Because I also think there's more lights at Busch Gardens. And I mean, I haven't been to Universal or SeaWorld in a hot minute. But I hear that they've got more lights than Disney does too. And they do more like lighting, festive kind of lighting and stuff at the Christmas party a little bit, right? But I don't feel like they should make people pay extra for Christmas lights. Yeah. I feel like they should just decorate Well, I don't really feel like more. they do. I well, No, no, no. I mean, I don't feel like they do extra. Oh, go ahead. What I was thinking about specifically is, like, at the Halloween party, so I just assumed that they did this, too. They would have some spots where they, like, would put, like, Mickey's Not So Scary as, like, light. The one I'm thinking of specifically is in front of Tomorrowland, in front of the Tomorrowland Terrace where there was that bay of water on either side of the bridge. Mm -hmm. They had just, like, a little light and, like, the logo of the show. Yeah. Like, in the grass. Do they yeah. do that for the Christmas party? Um, probably. I mean, th for the Jollywood one, they had mm -hmm. uh, projected, uh, jo like, Jollywood Nights that was on the ground. But I was at Magic Kingdom earlier this week, and Tomorrowland Terrace did have um, red and green lights. Oh, cool. So that 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 or is something, something. yeah <laughs> points for something yeah points for something okay um okay yeah so we both did land right yeah okay very good awesome <laughs> moving on good job everybody <laughs> um all right we're gonna do show okay show okay you did you went first last right i did man i'm glad you're paying attention <laughs> um Okay, I have two really good shows, but I'm going to do this one. Did you do The Nightmare Before Christmas? No. Okay, cool. Um, to me, that's Halloween, so. Oh. But you remember, we've talked about this. People have, like, very strong, it's either Christmas or Halloween. Disney put a Nightmare Before Christmas show in their Christmas event. At in Jollywood. Jollywood, yeah. So that leads me to think that maybe they would be down for this. Um, yeah, yeah, for or sure. Or they could just run it. From October, that's what they do with the Haunted Mansion holiday, which yeah. is Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, so I'm thinking that would be the situation. It's like this. October to the end of December. Yeah, you'll get your money's worth out of it. And okay, so what I want to do is in that darn big old sound studio that's right next to Rock and Roller Coaster, where they currently have that Lightning McQueen thing. I just don't think that's a very important attraction. <laughs> so, but it's like a big theater space sure so it's perfect for like if they want to do a seasonal show that's where they should do it right, right in there um they do a seasonal show for the party and the beauty and the beast theater but um it's not like a big conversion between shows it's nice and easy but if they wanted to have something that was like truly seasonal if they ever got into the haunted house business they would do it in that building uh, okay but instead i think they would be more likely to just do like a cool seasonal show okay so that's what i want them to do I want them to do a Nightmare Before Christmas, like a little musical with like a, a physical set of like the spiral hill and maybe a couple of buildings or trees from Halloween Town or whatever, but then like a digital backdrop, like an LED. Where it can change, yeah. Right, where it can change and they can use their nice big jack puppet. Oh wait, no, it'll already be in use at a different party. But I like the idea of... Um, well, this sounds like just a bigger version of that, right? Yeah, a little bit. 
like uh, I'm not thinking so much the sing-alongs. Um, the sing-alongs tend to have um, less plot, and they're just mostly about the song. I would like agreed. I would That's like what to see a little bit of like. I would want a Jack Skellington puppet and a Sally puppet. And this would be, I would think, somewhat inspired by... They had a show before Phil and Magic was there in that theater. They did, like, a Lion King show, but they were, like, really big puppets on, like, a big set. And it was really... When I see, like, footage and videos of it, because I never got to experience it, I think that's so cool, and Disney doesn't really do that a lot anymore. Right. And I think this would be a really... Because it's already so stylized, the movie, I feel like it would be a good property for them to, like, take a swing at something like that in, because puppetry is already, like, you have to suspend your disbelief a little bit to get into it. Yeah. Um, so I want, like, Puppet Jack and Puppet Sally to be singing... And maybe, like, Oogie Boogie could be costumed because that's what they normally do for him anyway, and he's supposed to be big and scary. Um, And I would just want them to do, like, a brief summarized version of the film, and Santa Jack can come out and, you know, via projection fly in his sleigh. Um, But I think a lot of those songs are really good, and I think that in this world, this and that Nightmare Before Christmas show that they do for Jollywood Nights probably couldn't exist at the same time. So I would like them to appropriate that budget (laughs) for this. And instead to do like a a proper frozen holiday something in that space. Yeah. I I would love to see like a frozen holiday special. And they've already, yeah. They do that during the day. They like the frozen sing-along during the holiday time. They add like fifteen minutes to the end of it. That's all the Christmas songs from the special. And they do yeah. like, the holiday thing. It's weird to me that they like turn that off for the party instead of like making it even more Christmassy. You know right. what I mean? Right. The ultra holiday version. Special Where it's super just Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like all the It way is surprising that they take something like Frozen and shut it down for the Christmas party to do Nightmare Before Christmas, which so the first song that they did for the Nightmare Before Christmas sing along was the um, very Christmassy song, you know, uh, "What's This?" Yeah. But then after that, everything felt very Halloween to me. Yeah. Um, through the writing of the show, I think that I would I would like them to focus like get through the Halloween stuff quick because all you need for the story is that they live in Halloween Town and they throw the best Halloween, so you do that, and then let's get into the "What's This." Let's get into the, like, kidnap Mr. Santa Claus, because Santa Claus, you know what I mean? Yeah. I would like it to be more Christmas focused. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so... It felt very Halloween-y the whole time to you. Did they do, like, This is Halloween and all that, too? Yeah, um... Sorry, I quizzed you again. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I can't remember if they did that specific song. It's okay. Maybe. I... But to me, Nightmare Before Christmas has like a 15 minute segment of it, um, the movie, I mean, yeah. that's very Christmassy. And that's the part where he first goes into Christmas Town and it's got that what's what's this song. Yeah. And then apart from that, the rest of it, even with the kidnapping Sandy Claus, that doesn't seem Christmassy to me because, it's spooky. It's spooky. yeah, right. There's bugs and kidnapping and I it just doesn't speak to Chris what Christmas is to me so yeah that but but I get that that that's me and not everybody um I just I would like to see if they're not going to do Haunted Mansion Holiday um I would like to see some type of seasonal nightmare before Christmas representation here yeah and I feel like they've got a building just waiting for it yeah you know what I mean so yeah that's and I do, opinions. I mean, I, I do love Haunted Mansion Holiday with my whole heart. So that's interesting, you know? All right. What did you pick for? So I I started with doing the that Tomorrowland Theater, but not, mm. but not even creating a new show because the show they had there could just really be improved upon and then put back there. Um, and then the other thing that I put was the Animal Kingdom River Stadium area. 
is somewhere that I would love to see a Ooh. Christmas show. Um, it would need to be original, water-based, uh, you know, colors and all of that. And I just feel like they could do something that's got more IP in it than the... So right now, Animal Kingdom does a projection show onto the Tree of Life that has no IP, but shows like, um, a, you know, animals... Winter, nature, winter, so yeah, nice. winter animals, yeah. right? Um, and it's cute, but it's clearly not like a fan favorite, and that's probably why there's no IP, there's no songs that you know. It's not super Christmassy. I would call it more wintry. It's also very like it's a very casual type of experience. There's no like show times or anything, right? It's just like. Right. Ooh, they put a little seed on the... It's equivalent in my mind to the castle projections at Magic Kingdom. They just kind of have it. Like randomly. Yeah. Yes, I agree. It's kind of a... It's not something that you can really go and... We've tried going oh, and like yeah. standing there to catch the show. It's something that you accidentally catch, kind of. You know what I mean? And for that, I think that's fine. I think sure. the reason that they went more like wintry than like full on Christmas is perhaps because of like the complicated thing of um, that stadium um, being set in like Asia and putting Christmas in Asia. It, yeah. Like, obviously, they put, obviously, Christmas is celebrated all over the world um, in a lot of cases. But like Animal Kingdom being so like culturally. Well, involved. I feel like they wanted to not do like just straight up Christmas. Sure. Yeah. And so they didn't. But I'm I'm just saying like if I could invent something, I feel like Animal Kingdom has the least amount of fun Christmas stuff. Although when I was there the other day, that the stuff they have in Dino Land is pretty yeah. awesome and adorable. Santa hat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? They put a Santa hat on that dinosaur at the boneyard. Yeah, they did a they did a a lot. Like they've got lights all up. They've got a Santa beard on that. Yeah, on that that dinosaur right before you get to the boneyard, like when you're coming in. Right. Um, it, and it, there's just a lot of lights. There's uh, characters dressed up in kind of Christmassy outfits. Uh, they're doing Christmas songs in that area, and it's really really awesome. Um, I guess if because I I'm not. I'm not even like saying how I would write this show that would be at that that stadium. It could involve a lot of different cultures what they celebrate. You know what I mean? Because That'd be when cool. you're when you're doing Epcot, like you're walking around in Japan, right. they're talking about how they celebrate New Year's and that's their big thing. Mm -hmm. Um and you get to so so they could incorporate some of these these different cultures and incorporate Christmas. And it'd just be like a multi winter holiday kind of thing. Yeah, I think that would be, I think they could use some entertainment in that yeah. stadium. And I like the idea of putting something seasonal in there. That's cool. Because Animal Kingdom is all about nature, but we don't really talk about the seasons very much right. at Animal Kingdom. So it would be cool, um, even if it is more like like winter nature -y, like they do everything else for the holidays. I think it would be cool to. So you don't think that they could get away with doing like a Christmassy show there because of it being located in Asia? I think more specifically, it... the vibe of Animal Kingdom is just very like, um, the I feel like the vibe that they're going for, and this even goes to. I would say the reason that when you're walking up to the Tree of Life, they've got, like, those little penguin puppets and the the polar bears and everything. Um, and the reason that none of that is really that Christmassy is because of the whole, like, nature leaning of Animal Kingdom um, as well. And I just don't feel like maybe they're thinking that Christmas and nature are really, like, besties. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes I worry that the lack of IP in Animal Kingdom hurts their business. So 
But but I don't know. I think they're working on it because they just dropped Pandora up in there and they're about to have Indiana Jones swing in, you know, and Coco and Moana and Zootopia or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everything they're thinking about for Animal Kingdom. But see, so that happy. stuff's not super nature-y. So then I feel like they could do a Christmas show. Yeah. What is but it? I don't know. Moana? I don't know. Moana's pretty nature Yeah. But Zootopia's not nature Right. I think that's Or why... Indiana Jones. Did they actually confirm that we're getting Zootopia? Or they did the opposite. They told us we're getting Indiana Jones. They told yes, we're getting Indiana Jones. What's going in it. in Bug's life though? Oh, that you're right. Yeah. That's Zootopia. Yeah, so I'm we're interested. That's, that's, that's the one be, we're 100 percent getting. I, I think it's more likely we'll get that than Indiana Jones. It's definitely like more serious because they like fully announced it at D23. Yeah, um, yeah, and it makes more sense. I'll be interested to see what they do with it because it'll be the first thing at Animal Kingdom that's what well, that is like that. You know what I mean? Like is. Zootopia is set in the city for the most part. Right. So, like, h- how will yeah. they make that happen? They're cops. They're police officers. It's such a weird, you know what I mean? Yeah. You Police squad and Animal Kingdom feel like two different vibes to me. Same. But um, I'm not willing to write it off until I see. Yeah, maybe they've they got a great plan. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be an interesting test for sure to yeah. see if they can integrate IP as successfully as they did with Avatar. Because yeah. that feels seamless with Animal Kingdom. Yeah, it really works. There's hope. Um, did you have another show? An Avatar holiday. <laughs> That's what they're doing next. Mm. The only other thing that I could think of, and I think that you would agree that this is like a no-brainer, is updating Muppet Vision 3D <laughs> yeah. for like a Muppet Christmas Carol. Did you put that as a show? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then for, as opposed to what? Ride, but I get that it's not a ride. But I would have lumped mm. it in with ride as a ride slash attraction. Yeah, I, it, I, I when I think of show, I think of stage show. But that's me. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Although I said that river thing, which is not a stage, but you get my point. Yeah, I put I I did put this as a show. Which I no, guess. that's fine. That's fine. Um, and if they were to do the the Christmas Carol, uh, Muppet Christmas Carol route, I would want them to like just play the movie like they were playing it and then something go terribly wrong in classic Muppet. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Mischief fashion. Um, Something's wrong with the projector, the curtain, whatever, whatever. Um, And I, to do that, they would have to record new, like a new ending, obviously, for when the film goes wrong. And they would have to do new voice work for that. Um, But otherwise, I think, like, I would just want them to use the same effects that they have yeah. for the regular show. Sure. The same, like, animatronics, a couple of animatronics. We can put Sweetums in a Santa hat. I know that's what, <laughs> that's what we really want to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, that feels, that would be cool. I mean, it would be jarring to hear the new Kermit the Frog. Voice, you mean? Halfway through the movie. You know what I mean? No. Is it wildly different? It's not. I would say most people would say it's noticeably different. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. But yeah, that's why it's like, I guess that's, I didn't put as much thought into it because it's not like my main. It's right. My second one. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it is smart. It would be fun. And they could, that area could use some Christmas decorations. I agree. Maybe it's because it's so close to where the Osborne lights used to be that it makes me think. Yeah, well, it's also so colorful, so it really would lend itself to, uh, you know, some colorful Christmas stuff. They could put some, like, cute static figures around the building of, like, Gonzo unplugging the Christmas lights. Like, I don't know. I could just see, you know, some cute... All kinds of cute stuff. Yeah, yeah. Gag comedy. Yeah. All right. All right. What do you... Did you have another show? No. Okay. No more shows. I don't uh-huh. take this over. Um, okay, parade is the next one. Yeah. I love I love this. Um, I've never had to think about how I would make a parade before. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of? Well Is that my turn? Who's turn? Oh, I don't know. I think it's your turn to go first. I didn't ever. Okay. Um, so what I put is that I I mean it would have for me, what I'm imagining is kind of like the Christmas parade that they have now, but but at night with lights. Okay. So so a cross between like electro magic and um 
the Christmas parade wow. with Santa Mickey and, and all of that. I haven't thought about spectrum magic. Spectrum magic, yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. I haven't. I just crossed two of them. There's the electric light oh. parade, and I just, in my head. I haven't thought about that in a really long time. Spectrum magic. That was a good one. Yeah, since since our wish list last year, maybe. Oh, did we talk about it then? Yeah, because oh. D, at D23, not this past year, but the year before that, they were announcing all these fantastic mm. night parades at Disneyland and not a one for Disney World. And we were like, what? <laughs> yeah. We need a night parade. I love a light up night parade. So you're thinking like a Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Not just for the party or for the... N no, not necessarily. Don't they have their own parade? Uh, yes. Is it, have you seen it? No. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's good. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, what, what did you have? I think the Magic Kingdom should have a Christmas. It makes no sense to me that they don't have a, like a Main Street Christmas parade at the very least. Well, they do, right? Uh, it's just not at night. It's not light up. Oh, oh, oh. No, I, I mean like a full like nighttime yeah. light up. Yeah. Like with Christmas lights. Yeah. The Christmas I agree. lights are the important part. I know. Me. I know. Me too. Me too. Honestly, Christmas lights is, was the whole idea of my parade too, which was like I would want the idea of Spectrum Magic and the idea of um, the Main Street Electrical Parade are like why I thought that Epcot should have a holiday parade. Um, I think that would be right. Epcot? Yeah. Where would it go? Um, See, I actually think that, that mine could work in Hollywood Studios, but I thought about Epcot for like two seconds, and I was like, no. Well, Epcot has had parades. I know, but that was showcase. back, yes, but yeah. This, now, every time we're walking around there, I go, isn't it wild that they used to have parades down here? Because you can barely, you're like shoulder to shoulder with the people next to you now. I would say logistically, and you're going to really flip for this, because I, I would want it to like, it's really, it could go around, um, if they could figure out how to go around the World Showcase, that's fine. But I guess what I'm thinking of was more future world oriented anyway. So how are they getting a parade in there? You you tell me. Yeah. I guess until the new world celebration, until I set foot in there and see what's going on where. Um, I don't even know what the middle of that park looks like. So I surely can't tell you how they're going to make a parade happen. Um, but if they could do a parade in Epcot, I think it would be really cool. Um, you know what? The, the, what I was describing is what they have at the party. So, Oh, so you're going to steal the party parade. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to make it public access. Yes. But I think that it does become public access anyway for the last couple weeks of the year. Oh, cool. Um, but anyway, go on. Well, that's okay. My parade can't even happen. Yeah. <laughs> for logistical purposes. But, like, I think um, in the same vein as, you know, obviously when I say retro futurism for Tomorrowland, it's very mid century vibes. Mm -hmm. I think retro futurism from like the classic 80s Epcot style standpoint would be cool for like a, an Epcot parade. I'm also thinking of metallic trees, which I know I already said for Tomorrowland. It's a great idea. But like colorful metallics. When I think of a parade for Epcot, I think of long, flowing bolts of colorful fabric. Yeah. Dancers in metallic, angular costumes. Sure. Um, you could have, if you were to have a parade in Epcot, you could have Wally in it as a free roaming Oh, I like character. that. Yeah. That would be cute. You could have some people from Meet the Robinsons because it's future -y. Yeah. And really, I didn't like... Really think oh, and you could have Figment at the end in like a Santa cap and his God, we're just putting Santa hats on everything. Well, that's what you do. That's what you do. But definitely in his holiday sweater. Like yeah. His notorious holiday sweater. And um, I don't know, Santa Claus or Ooh, the last float could be all of the storytellers from the Festival of the Holidays yeah. on one float. That would be great. That would be really cute. Okay. So uh. the only thing that I really came up with as a name for this is the experimental prototype Christmas of tomorrow <laughs> holiday progress on point. All right. Okay. Hey. Too bad. Half it, the battle. Too bad it can't happen. Well. <laughs> too yeah. bad it can't fit down in the pathways because it would be cool. It could be a water parade that they do like as a circle around 
um, the lake there. I there should be like a water pageant for real in the World Showcase Lagoon. Yeah, just even if it's just like ambient, like it's just happening while people walk by. Yeah, but you know what I mean. It could come in and then go around, and yeah, I think that's actually not a bad idea. And you could put something in the middle. You know how like yes, during illuminations they would have the globe that would float out. That was so cool. Yeah, but like you know, they, they could put like a some a big snowflake or something in the middle or whatever, or just like a platform with people in all different you know holiday attires in the middle yeah i'm thinking very the footlight parade cake from the yes. movie ride right that put that that telescoping in the middle different holiday cultures on it that'd be cool yeah fun yeah i don't i don't i haven't thought really too, too much about it but i just thought it would be cool for epcot there's no um retro future holiday stuff going on in epcot Seems like a missed opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. So, so mine already exists. So. <laughs> <laughs> we did great. We did great. You're, you're what? But the parade that I was, you know, thinking oh, of. Parade. I'm just, I'm, I mine think it's funny. Mine is impossible yours exists. Yeah. But I do think they need something like this in Hollywood Studios. I just didn't really get into theming. Like a parade. Yeah, like a holiday parade, especially if they're going to continue to do Jollywood. Yeah, they should put a parade for Jollywood. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's some, it could be a motorcade because it would be cool if they had like Santa Claus and like an old like Chevy, you know, like, yes. like an old Chevy. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Yeah, like a hot rod. And they all had those different brightly colored cars. Yeah. You could even put, like, Hollywood celebrities and Christmas yeah. clothes in them. That would be really cute. That would be fun. Yeah, and and you could have even, like, Mickey and Minnie in, like, the glitz and glamour holiday wear. You know what I mean? That'd be cute. That'd be cute. Pluto um, and a Santa hat. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> they used to have, like, a Stars motorcade, right? That was, like... It was kind of like that, where it was, but it was all IP. Like, I remember Toy Story characters having, like, their own car. The Incredibles had the Incredicar. Yeah, this, I vaguely remember what you're talking about. Like, I know it exists, but I didn't see it. They should do that for Christmas. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) That would be fun. Yeah, that's a good idea. And they can, they've shown they can do it. Yeah. So, (sighs) the last thing, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, the last thing on our list is restaurants. Cool. A restaurant overlay. Did you have any ideas? I have one. What is I have one specific one. I'm sure I could come up with more for sure. Okay. Did you want me to start? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I think that Be Our Guest could do with a overlay. We finally had the same idea. Oh, of course. <laughs> but I came up with another one too. Okay. Um, the, the hard thing about this one is that... They don't have Belle and Be Our Guest because she's over at Enchanted Tales with Belle. But I think we're just going to have to shut down Enchanted Tales with Belle. I thought the same thing. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to say this and Morgan's going to be like, you told me the reason that yeah. they don't have well, Belle. Now that I know the reason, I don't care and I just wanted to shut down. It's the- not worth it. Yes, it's not worth it. I need Belle in her really, really beautiful Christmas dress. Oh, can you imagine? It's so pretty. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Yeah, I want that dress. The snow in the windows. Yeah, the that the that's already dress. there. There's already the Christmas tree with the little angel from the the short. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you're short? thinking is it a short? Um, it's full feature, actually. Now that I think about it, right? I feel like it was like a direct, or maybe it's an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Direct to VHS feature. Yes. Um, okay, and I'm assuming you're also thinking that they're gonna like they would add Christmas decorations. Add course. Christmas decorations and change up the menu. Yeah. yeah, not not too much on the menu change though, because it's already kind of like a fancy sit down menu. Yeah. So I feel like we could do a fancy Christmas sit down menu. the The main change for me would be the um, desserts right. would get changed to like a Christmas, Christmassy right. desserts. Yeah. Like in a festive cake or something. in you know visually. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That would be awesome. I yeah I thought similarly because I. Um, First of all, it's already wintry in there. Yes. And you're uh, already halfway there. And they've already got an iconic um, holiday 
adaptation of Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. So obviously that's very natural. Yes. Yeah. I'm rooting for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my money on that. Um, the one that I picked as an extra um, was, um, oh, I also put on here, I'm just reading, is that if <laughs> the same idea, but then um, they could have like a photo op magic shot that's like, it makes a Christmas card for you. Oh. And they just take a picture of your family, but they put it in some kind of frame and then they add in Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, and Cogsworth in check. Cute. Because you don't see them sure. at any time during the podcast. But in your own personal Christmas card, yeah. there on the table in front of you. You know how to I like it. The magic yeah. Show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, I was going to say um, a 50s primetime Christmas special. Oh, yeah. Cute. That seems obvious. Traditional Christmas music, classic Christmas specials from TV history on the TVs, like Lucille Ball Christmas specials. Um, there's um, so many, cl like the Judy Garland holiday specials, like classic throwback Christmas specials, Christmas variety shows on the TV would be awesome. Yeah. Um, kitschy mid-century decorations, Christmas decorations. I think mid-century Christmas is so cute and putting it in there would be so awesome. It's already so space age and cool in there with all the decorations. But I feel like traditional holiday scenes with like the really tinseled up tree. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I feel like that would really fit in there nicely because it's already a comfy, cozy um, type of vibe in there. Yeah. Um, the menu, just like your Be Our Guest idea, the menu wouldn't need to be updated, I don't think, too much. much. Just like maybe they could put different fun, like, festive hot chocolates on there. Yeah. Or, you know, mom's fresh baked Christmas cookie, something. Yeah, you because know, that's... Sure. They all, they do, everything's named after a relative or something on there. Um, well, relatives are part of the little storyline that they're giving you in there. Yeah. They're calling you cousins and aunties and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that would be. Um, I think that would be fun. I feel like uh, that's a that's an easy one. Kind of similar in feel to that mini of diner thing that they're doing at the Hollywood and Vine. Yeah. Restaurant. Yeah. Just making it cute and Christmassy. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um. That was. Did you have any other restaurant ideas? No. I don't, yeah, that was it for me too. I really think be our guest is the best one. I think it's fun. Yeah, I think it's a no brainer. They should put Bell in there. Yeah. And they should also, if they want to get real fancy, it'd be cool if they had somebody playing piano in there, because not for nothing, the the Beauty and the Beast theme is on piano, and it would just, I think, add a certain level of. This is worth eighty dollars. I was just about to say that I did not think you were gonna say it, and then I was like, that might make it seem like it was worth eighty dollars a person. Literally, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It would just add an extra level. At first, I thought I was gonna get real fancy, and I was like, they should, and that upper layer above you, beyond the, they've got like a balcony. Yes. There. I was like, they should put an orchestra. Well, <laughs> I mean, even a small, you know what I mean? Five. Yes, I, I don't see why that would even be. I don't unreasonable. It's not unreasonable. You know what I mean? If you think about what they do on like the cruise ships, they there's always some sort of like live entertainment. Not always, but a lot of them there there are, and a lot of times you'll just walk into the atrium or whatever, and there's a, a few people playing instruments. It just seems like something that they could do at eighty dollars a plate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like beautiful candles. And beautiful yeah. music would really enhance the vibe. And they could play songs from that Christmas Beauty and the Beast, songs from the regular Beauty and the Beast, and just like old Christmas songs. They could do it all on strings and mm -hmm. piano if we're getting fancy. Um, I think that would be awesome. I um, I always think about how elegant it is when they have music in the Grand Floridian yes. lobby, whether it's just the pianist or the fact that they had the orchestra there for so long. I just thought those touches are what made it feel so deluxe and elegant. Agreed, agreed. So yeah. I think if you're charging people that kind of price at Be Our Guest, like a top tier dining price, uh, I would like to see some more bells. And <laughs> Didn't even mean it, but it happened. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love all of these ideas. Yeah, I have been to this parade, by the way. This Christmas I, parade? Yep, I just it's all totally, coming back. Yeah, I guess that's where the idea came from. <laughs> uh, a subconscious thought. So, yeah, I just forgot. Is Olaf in this parade? I, you, you're looking at this picture. I don't I Oh, don't no, remember. I'm just always thinking about Frozen. Yeah, I guess Olaf is in this parade. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a Frozen float. That's yep. apropos. Yeah. Yep, Cute. I have seen it. Funny. Yeah, I'm, honestly, okay. If but you it might have been like midnight. <laughs> if you could pick one of your ideas to make true, which means, oh, yeah, that is late. I del oh, the land that I would, if I could pick one, I would pick turning mm -hmm. um, Liberty Square into a Christmas themed land. That's what I would do. What would you do? Oh, I'm looking right now. I asked you a question that I was not prepared to answer myself. Yeah, that's Oopsie. funny. Um, honestly, same. The Tomorrowland yeah. overlay just seems like ripe for the doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can't believe they don't do. Not even, I can picture what I'm talking about, like metallic, spirally Christmas I know, trees. I know. I just can't believe they don't even do that. Right. Nothing? Mm. Come on. Be fun. Yeah. There's some Christmas trees on that. Um stage that they've got that's like out by carousel of progress yeah. but the rocket tower plaza stage <laughs> i'm just remembering that's what that's called because of the people we were in yeah and, right yeah this has been fun yes this is a fun i i love armchair imaginary yeah but we don't man these chairs don't even have arms we're really using our brains for this. <laughs> <laughs> um if you've enjoyed this episode, if you've enjoyed hearing us um, talk about some of the ideas, um, this is really just being a nerd about Disney. Yeah. If you like that, then you should subscribe to the channel because we're always talking about um, interesting stories from Disney's history, tips and tricks about how to enjoy the park to the fullest extent nowadays. Um, and all of that content is here for free for you on the podcast. If you subscribe um, on the podcast platforms like apple Podcasts, spotify pandora and if you want to see the visual version of the podcast and see our smiling faces um then you can check out our youtube channel neverland navigation co where we post those um full visual episodes yeah we're also on instagram at neverland navco um with some fun history some trivia yeah a bunch of stuff it's been fun watching you guys guess all the trivia <laughs> yeah. answers. A lot of you are really smart. You get it quick. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. The TikTok, the, the, never, the TikTok and the Instagram. And also the Etsy shop. Guess what? It's that time of year. <laughs> well, this airs on Christmas, so. New Year's. New Year's. <laughs> you buy New Year's gifts. New Year, new t-shirt. That's yeah. what I always say. And if you're looking for a custom t-shirt of any kind, then the Neverland Navigation Etsy shop is the best place to get um, uh, high quality custom printed merchandise. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good time over there. Does that cover it? That covers it. All right. Like a blanket of snow on a Christmas special. Aww. Um, that That's going to do it. I'm sad because I don't want the Christmas episode to be over. I don't want the Christmas decorations to go away yeah you know it's this is always the bittersweet part yes that it has to end mm -hmm. it seems like the season comes up and ends so quickly yeah i you know i understand people saying that when you start christmas right after thanksgiving it's too much lead in for christmas or whatever but by the time christmas is we're getting into like the heart of the season i feel like it's all ending so soon yeah it's quick wow my christmas wish is that Christmas is always so fun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to get out of the episode. Okay. Thank you guys for listening. And until New Year's, we'll see you on, on our, our next, next adventure. adventure. Bye.